up and shooting, Trent. Welcome back to the Collegiate Asa series brought to you by Philly Esports. You know, I noticed something, Tenric. I say brought to you by, and you say powered by. Just, just little caster things, you know? Uh, come, we're going to this set. <laughs> I try and veer between them, Cap. It depends on the mood of the situation. It, that's I feel true. Like if, if I'm a little more energized, then I go powered by Philly East. But, but if it, if it's, it, you know, if you're more formal, like if I have to wear like a button down shirt to a cast, I'll probably say brought to you by, you know? Yeah, my, my striped shirt exactly. really I got screams my formal, doesn't it? shirt on every time because my it's My unmade so bed. It's so hot in this room every time we cast these. Hey, Tenric. Yeah. WCU versus Widener. This is, yeah, that's the matchup. Uh, Bulls versus Cole, going in first. Yeah. Uh, I'm imagining Cole is going to be on the wolf. But there's a chance that knowing that it's Bolts and maybe knowing that there's a min-min possibility of swap to Fox, a character I think has an easier time in the min-min, we'll, we'll have to see. Oh, you can see if Bolts solo, is No, Bolt, Bolt is solo Duck Hunt now. Bolt has dropped the min-min. Bolt is Duck Hunt and Lucina. And so those are the matchups you have to worry about. Or he's on the Wario. What was that? What I was hate that? my life. I hate my life. I don't yeah, want to talk to Cap. Don't speak to me right now. <laughs> you, I don't want you to talk. It's wait, wait. Okay. Okay. Oh my All right. Gosh. All right. I need, a, I need a paper bag to breathe into right it's, now. Because I just had... That was, a roll, that was an emotional roller coaster right now. Production got the the message of who was going in from Bolt, but it, uh, it's actually Deister coming in here, which makes more sense based off of the character pick. Now, I'm gonna flex a little bit of wider, okay? I'm gonna flex a little. These are my boys, right? These are, Go these for are my it. family. Yeah. Talk it, talk it. Cole plays Wario. Uh huh. So he knows what this character does. He probably has a pretty good idea of the space. It's been a while. Okay. I think. Uh, Mostly, uh, Cole likes to these spaces and sometimes a Sora as well, but, uh, this, Wario is a character that Cole is familiar with, so this is definitely, I think, I mean, already I think this is a, a wolf-sided matchup. It's pretty close to even, but I think Wolf edges out Wario just having some of those disjoints and sword-like qualities on some of these tilts and aerials, but, you know... Again, when you have that character knowledge, you can play in so much. And catching that air dodge down, probably looking for the tech there, but unfortunately not going to find it. It's a down switch is going to take the stock off the right side. I, I know I'm kind of veering off topic a tiny bit, but I'm going to I'm gonna talk about how the how this game will affect the standings in the long run. Go for um, it. Western Colorado, currently 6th place. Um, and we've already locked in Benedictine and Greenville at 7th and 8th due to the games that they lost after, uh, after today. If Western Colorado loses this game, then they will not be guaranteed a sixth, but they will be guaranteed as tied for fifth, worst case, uh, uh, best case scenario. Um, and I say that because this game is Campbellsville and St. Francis University, who are both right above Western Colorado, tied for fourth. Um, they're both five and four. Western Colorado's four and five. So if Western Colorado loses this, they'll go four and six. Then Campbellsville and St. Francis will play. One of them will lose. And then both of those teams have to go against the top dogs, a.k.a. Mont Cohen, Wichita State, next week. And so I'm predicting that there will be two teams that are four and six in the standings by the end of this season. So if Western Colorado wins this game, then we could see them moving all the way up to fourth, in my opinion. However, if they lose this, then best case scenario, they'll have a tiebreaker for fifth place to see who plays in the preliminary round. Yeah, that sounds right. I'm that's not going to check you on that's it. That's my veering off topic. I was, I was looking at it, and I was like trying to follow along, and at some point I just lost you. And I Fine. just that's believed okay. you. Oh, unfortunately... Look at those full, like, like a three quarters waft. It's gonna whiff there. I mean, Deeks, you're not gonna have access to that waft. And a big F smash gonna take it off the left side. I feel like we also neglected to mention when you were talking, Deeks did take a return stock from Cole without taking too much percent in return. It was a pretty even game up until towards the end of that last stop. Cool. That, that both Cole and Deeks are, are kind of keeping it right now. That being said, I, you know. Deekster, that waft is a coming, and so at any point in time, it could be an unbalanced matchup all over again. Um, I think, uh, but Cole, I mean, great spacing on this wolf. He, like you said, he knows the matchup, he knows how to play against it, and he's found his gap. He's just got to run with it to the bitter end. Which I think we will see. 72 on this Wario here. And basically, at this point, I think, oh, there it is. That's what I was going to say. Is that wow. I think we're going to see if Deekster can 
get the second stock off before bowing out. But honestly, Wario, uh, because Deeks are popping off earlier in the game, maybe a little earlier than we're used to seeing, I probably has a half off online already. Could go for a kill from here. Uh, not quite as early as you would on a walk, but you know, especially these like mid percents. Looking at this, uh, you know, these fifties, these sixties, and seventies, this half flop is going to be, you know, oh, four C reckon with them. That was just another charge bomb on it, I believe. So even more dangerous coming up from the Wario. I, I'd say this is an even match. As Wario, you're already, you're, you're always going to have a, 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 ta a target on your back when you're playing against Wario. That's just kind of how it is. You're always going to have that point where you're like, I could die right now. And you're not against this heavyweight, you're against this really mobile and janky and un uh, unpredictable character, which, was, which is what makes Wario so great. However, Wario's weaknesses are also protruding as heavily as his fists are when he's using his Ooh. hand attacks. Wow. Great big smash attack though from Deekster. Great. Big <laughs> Look at, uh, hey, big head. Big head mode. Big head. Big head mode. But the Mario yeah, character was, classic that was, slamming yeah. his forehead into the that other was, person. That was a great comeback from Deekster after uh, the unfortunate timing there by uh, uh, by Cole. So Deekster is going to take that tiny lead there and keep the first stock available for the next counter pick. But of course, important to note, percents don't matter in career battles. So, you know, despite coming so close to death, it's gonna be zero percent next game. Correct. Now I don't know about you, Tenric, but you don't? if I headbutt someone that mm. hard, yeah, I'm bound to get a headache. True. And so I think uh, I think Free that would this. really affect me going into the next game. You know, maybe not, maybe not thinking too. Oh, I thought you were thinking gonna about, go into an. I thought you were like gonna go into an ad read because that, that was what I was gonna. Thinking about how much my head hurts. I was gonna, uh, do you know, an ad read. which would be if your head's hurting. You could really get some dauntless snacks oh, that could okay. help you through that concussion. Tenric! No, Tenric, come back! Tenric! He's gone. <laughs> Ten uh, Tenric, I'm sorry. Tenric, I'm sorry I took your ad read. Tenric, we can't hear you because your noise gate is too low. Guys, Aces Series, Philly Esports, sponsored by Donald Snacks, of course. Some of the best snacks. In the business, you're really looking for some energy. Want to get back on your feet? I was just, I was just trying to give you your space to talk about Dauntless Snacks and how great they are. I did. I just started to, and then you came back. Okay, then get go back on, on the bed. Don't get it. Don't go back on the bed. I honestly, okay, if I'm being here. honest with you guys, uh, I have not had a Dauntless Snack yet. I'm waiting. I have me, me have me have had. Tenric, is it good? Yeah, they're cool. No, I'm kidding. They're, <laughs> they're, they're amazing. Hey, look, if you've seen me, if you see me on stream, if you if you've been in chat before when I've done one of these ad reads, um. They've been incredibly, they've been incredibly voluntary, first of all. <laughs> um, but second of all, they've been absolutely deserved. Uh, Dauntless Snacks, uh, look, if, if, if you know Meat Sticks, you don't know Dauntless Snacks probably, but you absolutely should. If you know Meat Sticks, you know one or two brands, and that's about it. And when I think of those brands, I think of uh, overspiced plastic and uh, overpriced at a 7-Eleven. Um, those are the two things that I think of. And Dauntless Snacks are neither of those. They have, they have great value. They are absolutely delicious. They're 100% grass-fed beef. Um, they are stacked to the brim with protein as well, and they taste really damn good while they're at it. Uh, they, they don't taste too plasticky. They, they don't taste rubbery at all. Like they, they just they taste like a meat stick. They taste like what you think of when you want to think of a meat stick. <laughs> and it tastes great. It's amazing. It's delicious. I absolutely love them. Literally, when I received them to do the ad reads, I went through them all in just like two days. Um, and I almost finished them all before I was able to actually do the ad read, which is kind of a habit whenever I get food from sponsors. And so food sponsors, please send me more food so I can do your ad reads more. Um, make sure to use command Dauntless in the Twitch chat to get 10% off your order. Or just go to DauntlessSnacks.com and use the code Philly Esports to get 10% off your order as well. We got Bank coming in on the Palutena up against Deekster's final stock. Hey, guess what? Warrior doesn't have any disjoints uh, that are particularly good at least, and Palu does on everything. So this is, I feel like that's going to be the main to air interactions, which is something Wario is a lot of times known for because of how much he can just kind of drift around, but hell, I don't think it is a character that's going to struggle with that super hard. Auto laser. That's a weird character, or, or a weird player, I think, because whenever we see him, I never know what to expect, and maybe it's because he plays Palutena and Ness, 
which are two of those characters where you're just like, very different characters. I'm, I'm gonna watch this character, and you know, maybe something will happen that I find cool, or maybe I will want to punch the drywall that's nearest to me. Um, but either way, it's, it's a trip. It's a trip watching it. And in a matchup like this, I feel like Bank is, is walking into this even more in the dark than he normally seems to be, and yet it seems like he couldn't possibly be having more fun with it. Yeah, I think, um, I think Opala is a character that can really let you, on this too, uh, can really let you kind of explore the realm's possibility in terms of a lot of that punish game and combo game. You, you get a lot of options, you know, a lot of things you can choose. I think a lot of, they're all pretty equally viable. Uh, but viability doesn't mean nothing when you're facing down the back of Wario's skull. That back are gonna take it. Yeah. Such a strong kill move. Uh, already four stocks for Dixie here. But already, you know that's 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 extra credit. You've already done more than what you need to do. Anything else at this point is just uh, the cherry on top. Yeah, no, Deekster has already done his job, and he's only at 76 right now. The waft is on the way too. I feel like if he gets one more chomp, then he will be so extremely sad. Like he he will he will be looking so good right now. Oh, it's charged? Oh, it is charged now. You're right, you're right. I, I mean, if he gets an up tilt to waft here after, like, maybe one more good hit, then he's looking really good. Oh, Ooh. unless he gets up smashed. Ooh, -wee. Up smash covering everything except for Rollins is decent, unfortunately. Not picking the right option, but when you got a 33% chance of picking the right choice, I don't blame you for choosing wrong. It's gonna happen. <laughs> uh, Bank able to clean that up before it gets too far out of hand. So, Widener still... Keeping it relatively close, uh, but again, uh, Deeks are being able to take four stocks is such a big deal. Uh, it's so good. Uh, it's such a good start for WCU here. It's really what you want to see, especially out of one of your stronger players. Deeks are, I believe, the, the single highest stock taker outside of Bolts on WCU, and one of the higher stock takers in the entire uh, series. New? Sorry, I, I'm, I'm sorry. Refreshing. Any of that one more time? Say it again, Alan. So we're just. So we're gonna see Papa Woody coming in. Not a. It's a weird name. No, talk about Cap. Talk about Papa Woody. Talk about Papa Woody. We don't know anything about Papa Woody. How how should we beat Papa Woody? You gotta relax, man. First it's the meat sticks. Now it's this. Come on. I was just in a <laughs> Excuse you, Tenric. Do you think our commentary is getting worse? <laughs> 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 oh man, Papa Woody. Uh, There's gonna be an there. intervention after this Aces series. Yeah, one, of, one of these days. One of these days. Uh, but I think we keep it light enough that it's you know. Um, yeah. Now, chat. The <laughs> we reason have a clean, we have a clean record. The reason we, uh, yeah, cleanish. Uh, you biffed that up today, never had but you know, any controversy ever. Nah, true. There has never no, right. been anything that's gone wrong. No, you're right. Uh, it's 100. percent um, the reason oh we're kind of, uh, shooting the breeze here, chat, is because Papa Woody is not a player that we have seen before. We have no we idea what we're going to be watching. should have done the ad read, man. This is, uh, yeah, this, this would have been the time. You can do it again if you want. You want to do another one? <laughs> wow, you want me to talk about these meat, meat sticks? Yeah, go, 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 go for it. You're giving me so many mixed signals right now. <laughs> I like the, I really like the <laughs> play on the wild side. Okay. Okay. Oh, zero <laughs> suit. I have we seen a zero suit in aces? Last year. No, we haven't. Last year, Fruit Smasher was a ZSS. But okay. That was so this is the first time, time all ago. season that we've seen a ZSS. Oh, this is awesome. Dave. Oh, Dave. Big Dave Fletcher, Big Dave Owner One, pop it off in the chat. If you don't know, our league commissioner Dave is a ZSS main. Uh, I think I don't know, Dave. Maybe you can let the chat know whether or not you actually ended up sticking Luigi. I know he had a little phase there, but Zero Suit, not a super common character, especially this late into the meta game of Smash Ultimate. A lot of people considering the nerfs to be a little bit too much for this top tier, knocking her down to oh no, only. Oh, we whittle high teal. <laughs> Character's still nuts, right? You, she has all the mobility. Some of her setups aren't as consistent because of that uh, end lag uh, increase on the there. But Character still has an incredible amount of mobility. Uh, music on FD. Plenty of, plenty of kill power. Uh, very epic music, you know? Oh, big F smash. Bang! That's, that's equal! Hopefully... That's 2-2 two, two right there! 
Honestly, that's what I, I I wish I'd see that more. Oh, big parry too. That's yeah. I would have gotten that. Uh, that's what I want to see a lot against Morgan CSS is, is uh, knowing that off of that down B, especially if it's used after a jump so you don't have anything left to work with, you had a resources, you can punish that hard. And I feel like that's not something you see a lot of people do because you're so scared of like, you know, the ZSS effect where she just throws out something and then you're getting hit for 10 seconds. But you, ZSS is a character that, she's so slippery that I feel like you need to get those punishes when you get the chances. And Bank really capitalizing on it. 50 here in the second stop, probably going to be losing his soon, but putting up plenty of damage on Papa Woody here. Already at 60, not going to be quite looking for kills yet, but getting close to that percent. The thing is, I think that the, a matchup between Palutena and Zero Suit Samus is positive for Palutena, unless you're playing on Final Destination, in which case I think it's positive for Zero Suit Samus. I think it's a very situational thing where Palutena cannot, not not only normally has trouble against a character like DSS, oh. like you said, with her kid, right up smash catch though. He but said, on give me that but on, kick. <laughs> on, FD, on FD, Palutena, I feel like would favor platform play so much more against this character, which I feel like Papa Woody knows that. And so I, I feel like Bank is definitely not even close to his element in this matchup. Um, but even so, he's finding the damage, he's finding some great moves, he's staying aggressive on this paddle. Like, he is going for the rushdowns, he's continuing to look for a move basically every chance he could. Every interaction I've seen has just been Bank hitting Papa Woody while he's still, like, airborne. But that's a good yeah. kill, though. That's a good kill. 94 on Papa Woody here, though. Bank evening the stocks out in this game probably going to be in fact getting a lead for Widener here 124 in the CSS she's not gonna be able to take too many more of these hits oh that's a big miss on the FB gonna go right over and then unfortunately falling too low maybe thinking they had the jump or any other resource but unfortunately not going to work out yeah uh Dave no mid set coaching you make the rules you should know this <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah. By the David, way, I don't know. David's got to ban himself from chat in a second. <laughs> Dave, please time yourself. <laughs> I learned so that you can't do that uh, like because I actually typed my password into a Twitch chat once, and I was a mod in the chat, and I was like, "Oh no, I can't <laughs> delete it." Oh boy. Uh, lead back in the swing of Widener, but of course, only one stock still anybody's game. Not definite by any means. That's such a... That F-Smash is so big there. Also, the spacing on it was, like, perfect. It's just beautiful. Ooh, and that... I, it, this is something I think ZSS has struggled with and Bank kind of taking the habit of it. Uh, it you just run into stuff with Flip Kick, I feel mm -hmm. like. I feel like a lot of players uh, who... It's not necessarily, like, a skill issue... I think it's more just like you're trying to use the character's resources as best you can because it's it's so much mobility on that flip kick that sometimes you just blindly run into things without even realizing it. Um, of course, it can work out in your favor. Uh, that that like kick at the end of the downbeat is kind of kind of big. The sour spot, at least, is is very big. It can catch a lot of people off guard trying to intercept it. So I understand the attempt, but Palutena, especially with that up smash, is not one of those characters that's going to be kind of getting in your face to try to fish out uh that flip kick bank does have one more stock to work with western colorado has to throw in their third player of the day uh mm, maybe i'm trying to think uh zane maybe i like it mild nights okay i like well, I, I, think that... I think young is cool young is really cool and also, Young Link, Young Link has a lot of projectiles, but he's not completely reliant on them, which is really awesome, because with that one stock on Palutena, I feel like Mild Knights can... Because Mild Knights is also a huge proprietor of using sword a lot more than projectiles. We basically... We almost never see a lot of bombs thrown out from Mild Knights. We mainly see the boomerang come out, and then he kind of just goes in with his aerials, which I think will work really well against particularly Bank and particularly his last stock. You know, call me crazy. I think that's the right way to play Young Link. I think I agree. people think of this character as a zoner, when I think you just use the projectiles as combo tools and you play your neutral around the sword. Granted, it's not the best disjoint in the game, far from it when you're staring at characters like Ike with the, think, uh, you know, and Violet, but... I think for Young Link, it's more of a long-winded bait-and-punish game. Like, you play the distance as long as you can, but when your opponent gets inside, you're like, actually, this is where I'm stronger. Thank you for bringing me here. 
and then you go for jumping forward air or landing down air or something stupid like that and instantly find 30 percent like it, it's it's that sort of drawing in and then bashing back out yeah uh, uh, I, I, young league is definitely one of those mid-range players that, I, that I, at least ideally in my head uh how i like to see him played but we're gonna see how he fares into this palutena tenric you mentioned last game about how Palu doesn't necessarily like Final Destination, and we're going back there again. Do you think that's a ban for you? Uh, uh, I don't feel like Palu struggles enough on FD to ban it, uh, but certainly it's not the most advantageous place for her. I mean, I I can't predict anything anymore, dude. I can't lie. We're at this stage where we're at this stage where it feels like anybody can beat anybody. It feels like. Nobody is safe from. Oh. Okay. Bank, uh, uh, production letting us know that Bank actually. I'm assuming it's Bank. Um, chose to ban Battlefield both times, which might just be a comfort thing. I think Palutin is very strong on Battlefield, but uh, sometimes you you take characters to these stages, or you rather don't like taking characters to these stages just out of comfort. I always used to be when I when I first started playing Falcon was a big proponent. I would always ban Kalos FD despite Kalos being arguably Falcon's strongest stage, uh, which Fatality proves literally every time he gets to go there. <laughs> um, so maybe more comfortable in the FD, which would make sense also coming from the perspective of a player who also plays Ness, a character who is very comfortable on FD. Oh yeah, production pointing out that Lilat sucks. Yeah, uh, just never play on Lilac. That's keep just a good rule of thumb. 108 on bank here. I think I think we see, we're seeing Malmets do exactly what we wanted, playing this mid range, not not just not just zoning, you know, uh, getting nice, getting in there. Forward yeah. smash going to take it off the right side. Only 58. percent Not like it matters, but it is important to note that Bank not able to get too much going in that game. Really strong stock for Mild Knights. It stayed oppressive, and that's what you need to do in that matchup, especially on FD. You just you need to launch everything out, and uh, Palutena can't walk around all of it. Eventually, she's gonna walk into a projectile, or even better, the sword. And uh, there was a moment there was a moment where Bank found a little bit of damage with again the rushdown that that he had been able to do on uh, on the previous matchup. But Mild Knights kept the aggression going whenever he could, and uh, reopened that wound, finished off the stock. We're back at nine nine. The difference is now you got a counter pick. Coming from Widener again, against this young link. Getting Moon okay. coming in. That makes I sense. Think so. We've seen them on Joker and Snake, but I think Snake has been the more common pick we've seen from them. I think recently, yes. I think recently we've seen more Snake. I was only here the last four weeks, man. I, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw a Joker, but Joker's I would be. I would. Character. I would be less surprised. I would be more unsurprised if I saw Snake. Joker also known to struggle on Wi-Fi though, which is another thing that you really got to That's true. That's very true. Obviously still super strong, but one of those characters where Wi-Fi is definitely not helping you. Don't out give Joker already. means any don't give Joker means any slack. <laughs> I don't you listen. Joker means you got it. It's all you. You can I'm keep chilling. playing online, guys. You'll you'll be fine. You'll you be got great. It. You're doing You know what? You just go to your you go, go to your weekly and stop some poor <laughs> Uh, or something. I don't know. What characters do people play? Go to your weekly and stomp a poor Falcon player. That's me. Yeah. Stomp a Falcon or a PT or something else that's played yeah. really off at locals. <laughs> oh, poor Pokemon trainers, man. PTs, yeah. There's there's like seven PT corpses by the end of every local. Character's so good, though. <laughs> he is really good. And I still think there's nobody that's really optimized them. Quid is, is coming close, but I think... Uh... I think some of the other, I think it's mostly the Ivy, so I think the other Pokemon are a little lacking uh, mm -hmm. when you see them kind of forced onto that Squirtle in particular. Yeah, when you're matched I onto the top level, when you're matched onto the top level, Squirtle and Charizard do start to struggle, for sure. Yeah. Hey, we, but we're looking at a game right in front of us. Gonna be going in here, yeah. in the game in just a second. Um, Snake's good. Snake doesn't hard lose much, yeah, if anything. Yeah, also, also the bait and punish game that you play as Young Link can be punished itself by Snake, because 
I, again, I tote this every time we talk about Snake. It's being able to hold a grenade during a combo and then stopping the combo and then doing damage to yourself, but even more damage to your opponent. It's so strong. It's so powerful. He just shielded down air and then down air landed on the grenade and Snake was out, able to get out of the way before the grenade popped to yeah. only damaged Mild Knights. No, I, I, I think it's actually, oh, that would have wow. been death. That was weird. Um, I think uh, Swords can really struggle. It's weird, but I do think some districts can really struggle in the Snake just because of the way that those so It's a good catch! I, the, re the reaction timing on that was so great. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of did the pog face. That was pretty cool. I didn't know the C4 was there. Oh man, yeah, that's another thing is on Smashville in this day, just Snake rocks the C4 on Snake a platform does like rock. Smash Mills. Like, like that C4 has so much fun on that top platform because he just locks down the entire middle portion of that stage. Like it is, it is a complete and utter lockdown. Beyond that. Uh, like everything else, just this matchup is so good for Snake. Holding the nades, having that up smash available, Nikita's to edge guard, recovering high like that, and the Cypher just taking it like a champ. It's it's so massive. It's insane. That was so weird. 91 on this young Ligardian like, on their second stock. Moon has Ooh, good catch. lapped down there. Just barely unlapped uh, the percents oh. in this game. This should be death. Yeah. yeah. Up tilt gonna take it. Not. Not probably what I would have chosen. I probably would have just forward tilted, but I'm not the snake player, so. <laughs> Moon, working on a possible three stock here. Uh, it's it's gonna be uphill for sure. I think I, I'm liking Mild Knights' chances of getting at least yeah. one stock in this game, maybe even two. Oh, the percent is still pretty low, but 67, it's already racking up. Oh, a big F smash. Trying to, trying is, to go for that, but a little early. You're at the point where you're at a high. Oh! Oh, he lost the stock! He lost the stock, though! Wait a minute! Did C4 time out? I think C4 timed Production, out! Production, run the replay! Don't cut to me! Don't look at me! Don't look at me! Go to the replay! <laughs> Don't look at me! What was that? What happened? What? It just, it just blew up! The stage blew up and they both died! Push it on the screen. I think the game got bored. <laughs> what was that? I, I gotta imagine that was C4 timing out, because I don't that think there was a be. button. Yeah, button. it had to be. Oh, yeah, you see it on the platform. Yeah, there it there. is, there it is, and it he explodes both of them. It gets yeah. both of them. Moon not pressing, it just goes <laughs> on. I believe that it's a 30-second timer on C4, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, so, not keeping track. People generally don't keep track That's of that timer so because funny. it's not going to come up. You know, people are going to pop that oh, C4 wow. before 30 seconds have passed. 30 seconds is a long time in Smash. It's a long time. So, you know, you're not using one of your best, you know, trapping tools for, for that long of a time is not something that wow. normally comes up. So don't even think about, you know, running a timer in the back of your head. And obviously it, it came into play there. Really, uh, really good stuff from Moon, though. Super oh. solid game. Basically... I know we lost one at the end, but still basically taking three stocks without losing one of his own, really, uh, of mild lights is a court at the very least. Yeah, it's 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 down to two stocks, but it's, <laughs> it's a bit accidental, that last stock, and a very close, a very close first stock at that. Like, I, if he was at a little lower percent, then he would have flown a little less, uh, a little less quickly, and maybe would have had a shot at losing that first stock after the KO. Um, but sadly, it was not to be. Moon is going to be down two stocks, and Western Colorado is going to be down to two players, I think, right? Yeah. Yeah. Or three? Wait. Three. It's going to be Rick two, John. Okay. Three. Deekster. Deekster. 11-9? Deekster. Woody. Woody! That's it. That's why I don't see it on the roster. Yeah, okay. Deekster, yeah, they're down to six. Nights. And it's going to yeah. be Rick John. I expected this for sure, because Rick John's definitely a strong player. And PT versus Snake. I can pretty pretty count. good for PT, Falco. but also Falco. Rick John's going to play the Falco instead. Yeah. That's Rick also John, a solid matchup for usually, sure. We see Rick John usually on the Falco. Crouch on the laser. Do it. 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 I know you want to. Just do it. Just crouch. It's so easy. Okay, he doesn't need to. 58 already on this Falco. That was a little C4, a little weird interaction, but you know, getting when you miss that placement, you, you kind of want to reset it as fast as possible. Uh, 74 already on this Falco. This is uh, this is looking like a quick first stock. Hey, for sure. Here for oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, big oh tech, boy. oh boy, oh boy, oh, big roll oh. read. 
Oh, he's gonna take it. Only 44. On he didn't. The he didn't just read the book. He he turned the page. He showed the class the pictures, and then he started reading. Like that was so good. That was that was ridiculous. That was that was a clinic in how to handle a, uh, in how to handle a chase like that. That was a good. That was a good. You should put that on your reel. That was good. Thank you. Oh, another big tech. Oh, we, wow. we don't we don't miss those techs on Kalos apparently. Oh, Ooh. I forgot that C4 was there too. Yeah. Don't worry, it's Clearly okay, so did Rich John. Oh, it's okay, Rich John. I, I I get hit by that. <laughs> we sympathize. We didn't see the C4 either. I love. Uh, I love. Oh, I see it there. You see oh, it? Remember it's it's, there. Right, it's, yeah. it's cover remember that, that roll. It's cover remember that roll. The next thirty seconds. Oh, he, oh, he forgot he was covering the roll. He, he had it. He had the he had the trap set up, and unfortunately not pulling the trigger. Uh, gonna give Rick John a little bit more life in this stock. I don't know if C4 would have killed, but it certainly would. Oh, certainly would have no, done some okay. damage. I think no, no real kill options. Oh, oh, another big up to coming out. Moon again has lapped their competition in stocks and percent. Gotta remember, Moon started at two stocks, so two stocks taken to one. That's extra credit. That's that's good. Yeah, that's a lot yeah. of stuff. He's got one more stock to take one here, but Rick John has really got him in a bind right now. 80%, he's kept going for these grabs, and ooh, it seems like Moon is getting more easily punished. He hasn't really thrown out a lot of projectiles right now. He's got to find a place where he can trap uh, Rick John again here. Did you stick him? I don't think so. No, he didn't stick Where him. is it? I don't think it's anywhere right now. Yeah, he, no, he oh, just okay. dropped. There it is. And now it's not anywhere again. But where did it go, Cap? I oh, thought he, I thought he got it out. That's a good nade. That's such a good grenade. Oh. See, Moon. Oh. Yeah, Cypher doesn't care. Cypher. Cypher does not care. Let's see if uh, Moon can clean it? up He's this last stock. Oh, oh. He, he went for it. He wanted it. He wanted that roll in read. He got it again. Is it going to be free? Oh. No. Up smash going to wow. take it. Yeah, unfortunately, right. pulling the trigger a little bit too late oh. on that roll read. Not going to get it the second already. time in a row. And up smash from Falco gonna take it. Up smash, big. Um, you bring in Cap in now on the Falco? I don't think it matters. Yeah, you're right. I, I, I like the I like the entirety yeah. of the wider Ooh, roster. Yeah, the you could bring in you could bring in Bold, you could bring in Bunkus, you could bring in Cap in. You could bring in any of them. Bring in Cole again. <laughs> Just run it back. Cole, Cole too. <laughs> Cole too. <yeah. laughs> It's a different guy, I More swear. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. oh man! Again, we have to reiterate: if Western Colorado loses this, then worst case or, or best case scenario, they have a tiebreaker match to see who plays the prelim uh, the preliminary the preliminary game for, yeah, uh, for the uh, for the tournament. Um, if Western Colorado loses this, uh, I think. By the way. Uh, I think you're right. I think it's gonna be Captain. We'll see, but I, I yeah. think I think you're right. I think Captain. You get that is, is one last move. Falco stock, especially when you know Bolt's also, gonna be last on that duck hunt. Falco like Ditto. Falco Dittos are cool. Falco Ditto sound high. I love watching people up tilt each other. Yeah, it's so fun. You think we're gonna see any like up tilt clangs? No like, consecutive ones. Like boom 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 boom. boom. No, that, that would never happen. What are you talking about? You're crazy. <laughs> uh. Production confirming for us, it is indeed going to be Cap and coming in. I keep kicking my desk. What is this? <laughs> What's going on? Oh, I'm sorry, Paul. You're sleeping. Buddy. My bunny is asleep right now. Uh, not anymore. That's my bad. That's on me. Uh, I'll take I'll take bunny. that L. What? I'm sorry. I'm getting really off topic. She's You're she's good. some of the strangest happens. She sleeps under like her water bottle. So I know that it's dripping on her, and it just mm. she doesn't care. She's just a giga chad. Weird. You're so cool, dude. I wish I could be like you. Rabbits are so soft, man. I'm sorry. I just I love my rabbit. She's she's great. She's, uh, that's my that's my daughter. All right, you got one more suck to take. Hey, Falco Ditto. Second to last player for uh, mm. for Western Colorado, and then you have you just have to get through bolts. No real matchup intricacies to talk about in this no, one. Uh, it's two Falcos. They're going to do the same to, thing uh, to where, each other. Where do you take it, though? Lila. Stop. I, do we even have Great Lila cave offensive. Legal? Great cave offensive. Yo, yo. Great cave offensive. Yo, gentlemen, the game. <laughs> 
the best stage in the game. They should legalize it. It's it's Gamer's gamer. such a good stage. Oh my god. There, he did it. He did the thing. Are you happy? Yes, so happy. So happy. And we didn't even get TOS. Yeah, for it. How crazy. Is oh, and the Falco up tilts. Oh, and the other oh, Falco up tilts. Oh, the first Falco up tilts. Oh my god, another up tilt. And a down tilt mixing it into the up tilt. Oh my god. Wow. What Captain kind of trying to end it all there. Ooh. Down there on the Ooh. side beta, but not going to find it. 77 on Rick John. Both of these Falcos, are, it's going to come down to these guys fishing for hits, which I think is really. Despite. Okay, it's done. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> Never mind. That's whatever. Alrighty. That's going to be game. It. I wouldn't so notice anything now, important anyway. all we got it's left whatever. is uh, is gonna be Bolt from Western Colorado. He's going it's, to be the last line of defense right now. It was dumb. I don't know, it doesn't matter. I was gonna say something stupid, oh. probably. It's whatever. <laughs> like I'm just yeah. So it's probably probably gonna be Bolt or whatever. Like, it's, you know. Cat, we still got one more after this. You gotta cheer up. Come on, buddy. What was that? That was like a purr. Come on, Cap, and like... I didn't even. Come on, Cap. I didn't even get to. I didn't even get to talk about the intricacies of how Falco struggles to get the hit off, but in the Ditto, it can sometimes be a lot harder because they're both really slow characters, so they're not going to run into each other's well, buttons as often. Cap, maybe you can string that into a dialogue of the matchup versus Duck Hunt. No, I can't. I'm not that you good can. at talking. No, you're great. You think you're so? So good. <laughs> Go pet my bunny. I've been, I'm just thinking about it now. <laughs> just, mind is on the bunny at this point. Uh, probably bolts. Probably duck hunt. Falco duck hunt. I think uh, duck hunt. One of those characters that is not humanoid, so can can be a little difficult to combo right. uh, with some of these Falco aerials. They're not particularly big. I think Falco's jump height uh, and aerial. I guess acceleration when he's getting up there really covers the fact that up air and back air are not particularly big moves. They can shield poke for sure, but they're not particularly big. They're mostly made as good as they are with Falco's mobility on these, uh, you know, on a super high jump height. She's falling back asleep. We're good. We're chilling. <laughs> she just she did a little. Stretchy. Oh look, we've seen bolts. We all know Bolts at this point. He is one of the most hardworking and best players in the Collegiate Aces series. What if it's not feasibly, Bolt? feasibly, can he take these six stocks? I think, here's the thing, is Seven, I feel like right? Cap'n Cap stocks are going to be, six, no, right? it's six. I feel like Cap'n stocks are going to be harder to take than Bunkus is, so I feel like we'll inevitably see after Cap'n. What if it's not Bolts? Then what if it's not Bunkus? It's, it's, it's absolutely Bolts. Let me... You could have lied to me, Aeon. Oh my <laughs> god, the dog? It's the lightning dog? You think that's uh, where the name comes from? From an obscure movie about a dog who thinks he's a Obscure? Superhero, I'm sorry. Bolt that's a cult classic. A Bolt's a cult classic. Bolt's a cult Bolt's classic. Bolt's a cult classic. Bolt movie, uh... What do they call it when they make it? <laughs> what about, do they call are, are you talking? Are you talking gross? Yeah, that's, that's the one. What's Bolt's gross? 328 million! One, Not bad. Go. It made, it made 328 million worldwide. What was the budget? Well, that's pretty good. Uh, it's a Disney movie, so it was probably like 100. 150. 150, yeah. I don't, I, it made the money, but it doubled the money, you know? That's pretty good. Tangled had a higher budget than Zootopia. That's interesting. Those huh. animators got un. Hey, Duck Hunt, Falco. Uh, is, Captain's uh, doing a great job against these hands. Captain's Ka having fun with this matchup, honestly. And it's hard to have fun like, with, with, in a match against Duck Hunt. Having fun, certainly, but winning is a different thing. And I think uh, I think what I said is kind of coming to fruition. It can, it, I think, really struggling to find these combos against this, uh, you know, the Duck Hunt's frame, which can be pretty difficult. Um, up air, not quite gonna do it yet, but some of these moves are gonna start killing just good as mash down B. I'm losing Brune Cell uh, by the tens of thousands. 
dude. Honestly, uh, relatively viable at some stage in the game, especially this late a percent. The, the whole time, the whole time, Captain's had trouble finding the combos. Instead, he's just been having uh, a good time, just like using his his jump height to get over the cans, get over the projectiles, and just get inside quick. But now he has a lot more danger in doing that, and it's becoming readable. So instead, he throws out a reflector once or twice. He wants Ooh. to keep things unpredictable. But Bolts, nice Nair is gonna take the first stock. Duck hunt Nair kills. I didn't yeah. know that. It takes a second, but yeah. I mean, oh, hey, there 130 it is. though. I guess it was also max, like max rage, but yeah, uh, exactly. Happened returning the stock very quickly. Gonna down her, the poor guy. He already shot the gun. That was just bullying. You didn't need to do that to him. He's just He's, hanging out. You know, there are a lot of kids in the neighborhood, and he wasn't happy about you know the noise this late at night. Where are going? There's a lot of catches the captain's got right now. Good up tilt. Good back air. In the corner. Let's try maybe. Oh, good, another good nair. This is a good. This is a good read. Is this like a Pokemon battle because they're both. Oh there. my god. Captain, shutting me the hell up. With that a one big down air off the that right that side. Physically of the stung, dude. That physically stung. That was massive. And and of course, Falco's uh, down air. Honestly, kind of known for sour spotting in those situations. So pretty, pretty. Uh, Good spacing knowledge on Captain to God, know that height he needs to get to to get that. Mode right now, dude. He's kinda, going so mental. Kind of going Astro World on him a little bit. Like the way, like he's just so aggressive right now. He's not letting up for a moment, and it's working so good for him. It's great, and it's really entertaining to watch a Falco get this in your face, despite how much of a great trap setter Bolts is known to be. It's a great change of pace, and it's a great way to cement uh, Widener. As this, uh, as a, 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 at the spot that they are at, because you got to remember, Widener, they are third seed right now, and if they win this, then uh, they will, uh, they will look to comfortably stay there, honestly, um, in that third spot. They might end up tying for third, uh, depending on how their game later tonight ends up going, because they have to play up against uh, Wichita State later. But uh, that being said, uh, they're looking, they're looking really keen to uh, to keep this uh, keep this top spot. Up in um, up in the bracket, cause Bam. that's a uh, yeah big bag here. <laughs> nice job by Capin. That's gonna do it for Western Colorado. Widener is going to take the match four to zero. They are now six and three, and Western Colorado they are four and six. So again, best case scenario they're gonna be tied for fifth. Worst case scenario they will be absolutely in sixth and have to play in that prelim preliminary matchup. Oh, sorry. I thought you were gonna cut it I out. I was gonna throw um, it to you, Cap. Uh, that's what. Yeah, that's my bad. Hey, don't go anywhere. Stick around. Coming back, we're gonna have an interview from one of the players on Wired University.